friends, I'm Ben. I'm Angie. And Hello. we're building adventure. We're building adventure. If you're new here, you don't know that. Because we've had people ask us about how to set up our camper. Yes. Um, specifically. Think, yeah, specifically our trail manor. Yeah, and to be fair, this camper is not a prime example of a no. trail manor camper. The story of this camper, real short version, it belonged to a family member. A tree fell on it. They didn't have the time to fix it, so they said, if you can fix it, you can have it. So we... Specifically, this is a Trail Manor model 2720SL. It's a 2006 I believe it's 2008. We're going to walk you through this like you just backed it into a campsite. Roll the footage. Start recording the footage. <laughs> So you just backed into your parking spot. First thing you're going to want to do before you unhook from your vehicle is put your wheel chocks in. Um, on Trail Manor, you cannot access any storage while it's closed up. So put these in the trunk of your car, in your truck, somewhere where you can access them from your vehicle. Those go here and here. Now these Trail Manors do not have power stabilizers. And you're going to want to put the stabilizers down before you do anything else. So what I like to do is I'll come up here to the tongue jack and I'll lower this all the way down and then put the rear stabilizers down and here comes a train. <laughs> so hold on for just a second. So I'll lower the front down as low as it'll go. I'll put the rear stabilizers down and then I'll come back up here and I'll jack this back up with the tongue jack and I'll put the front stabilizers down. That way I can get the camper up high enough to where I can level it nicely. So these trail manors have this style um, stabilizers on them and there's just like a round thing with a hole and so I don't know if there's supposed to be a tool that fits in there. What I use is a cordless drill with an allen wrench in it. The allen wrench inside there on the inside there and just go like that. All right, so we got the back jacked up. Now we're gonna raise the front with the tongue jack and then do the front stabilizers. Angie, you wanna take, a, take the lead on this one? I will try my best. Go for it. I'll be honest, guys, I'm learning here too. All right, I got it. No, listen, women can do things. Well, I'm not sure you're going the right way or not. I could have told you wrong earlier. Well, in that case, women can't do things if they don't know what to do. This way seems to feel right, though. Yep, it's going up now. It's really challenging. Let me know when you want me to take over. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm empowering you to work as much as you would like to work, and no more than that. No, it's, it's so good for me. It's it's really challenging and painful, which is so good. All right, so we're gonna jack this up <laughs> and we're gonna put the front stabilizers down. All right, last one. And even though all four of these are down, I still have tension on that tongue jack. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up so we're all sitting on the stabilizers and not on the tongue jack. So the next thing you wanna do, see these lat latches? I got this. I got this. I don't need help. From the top down. Top down. Top down. It's stuck. <laughs> it's so stuck. Okay. Move your hand. Okay. Uh, I just did this for a TikTok, guys. I'm not kidding. And it worked. Then it got stuck the second time. And I'm like, we just did this. I mean, here's the, here's the truth of the matter. Things are a little rusty. This is an older... We already said this camper's beat up. Yeah, it's beat up, and I think it's supposed to be. It's supposed easier. to. It's supposed to be tight because they keep everything sure, down. Sure, but I also think it's supposed to be a little more user friendly. But because this was hit by a tree, things are a little warped. I'm just saying that honestly. So sometimes things that should be easier are a little, a little tricky. Yeah. See, it's almost like they're bent a little bit when they shouldn't be. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so like sometimes they're easy and sometimes they're really tricky. But I got that one no problem. 
how do you feel? I feel good, but I'm embarrassed that that first one gave me trouble. I think you did a great job. High five. All right, so the next thing you're going to have to do is last time. These latches right here are the main latches that hold the two sides collapsed. Mm -hmm. And you basically got to pull these over and watch out because when you pull this, the side is going to want to jump up a little bit. There's one on each side and there's one on each side for both the front half and the back half. We're going to go around to the front side, just grab it and you kind of just pull back and up at the same time and it just Before you really let go of this, I mean it will stay there, but if you're on a little bit of a hill or something, it may want to go back down. The thing that holds these up is right here. These arms fit into that pin. It's pretty much the same steps for the rear as it is the front. This is this repair was clearly from the accident, but when you release this, right here catches on these bolts, and it wants it keeps ripping this piece off. So when you go to lift it up, you got to keep making sure it's not getting caught. And even there's plastic things inside here that it keeps getting caught on. From here, the back just lifts up just like the front, and you put the little catches on, and then we'll move on to the next step. This is what it looks like. Yep. And there's a handle right there in the middle. And you literally just grab it. We're at the back of the camper if you didn't know that. The front side's a little bit trickier just because it's so much larger. On the back side, you're pulling out the bed. This is like a whole sofa and storage and the heater and everything's in here. So it's the same principle. There's a handle and you just pull on it. When you're folding your camper up, make sure you fold these steps up before you bring these sides down. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the steps folded up and you gotta set the thing back up again. That's a, a not fun thing to do. Next up is the door. And the door has been kind of a thorn in our side. Um, it never really seemed to work properly. So there's a little latch in the middle of the top section. Go ahead and release that and fold the top section away. When you get inside, there's a little latch there holding the inside, the lower portion together. So this is one of the issues we've had uh -huh. is the original latch that was on here, at least when we got it, literally just fell apart one day. So I've had to modify it to accept these other latches. But we have these and even these try to get bent. So for now what we've been doing is I take just a random bolt drop it in there just to kind of hold it and it works you can hook up your power and get your AC started mm -hmm. and you can turn your lights on and stuff so we are going to do that inside your rear bumper there's some storage and we've got our septic lines our clean water hose over here is going to be your electrical, but there's a hole in the side that the wires are supposed to go through. Our little door was busted, and we were still using that anyways. And we were driving through Texas, and somebody was honking their horn waving at us hmm. because we were dragging the cord down the road. So now we put the whole cord inside here. Yes. I call this the garage. Basically, it's got storage. storage. This is like a water filter. If you're new to our channel, it's a little bit of a state in here right now. Oh, it's a bad, bad mess. We did all these 
dope maps that we glued up to the ceiling and then we went on a road trip and left this vent unlatched and it totally messed everything up so we gotta redo that yeah. but that's not what this video is about no it's about our trail leader pop-up camper and how to how to, how to set up this pop-up camper Especially when you're staying at resorts like Walt Disney's Fort Wilderness Stop. Park. You know what he's doing, guys? He's throwing out keywords to the algorithm. This is our thing now. We try to see how many keywords we can fit in one video. We're having fun with it. As you walk inside here, there's a couple of things you gotta do before you do anything else. First thing you have to do <laughs> is these latches here have to be latched before you put the vinyl sides down. Basically, you've got this little guy here at the door, which just gets folded over, and that's done. And all these plop down, the front plops down, those plop down. Up at the front here, you got these little twisty things that hold it up. Oddly enough, these exact things are on fire trucks at the top. They hold their vinyl tarps that cover the hoses on the top of the fire trucks. Most of these campers have a switch to where you can't turn any of this electric stuff on on the back side of the camper until you folded the bathroom wall up. I wired mine around that switch because I thought that was stupid. Um, some of them have an additional cabinet. This one did have a chair, but we opted for more floor space and took the chair out. Yeah. But. Basically, you gotta get this small cabinet out of the way. This big cabinet lifts up and goes up against the wall. Then you can access the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That whole little area is, is a bathroom. bathroom. Look at those muscles. I will say, if you haven't seen our older videos, I did paint the chalkboard paint on here so that the kids could make like little messages on our trips. Once you get it up, you slide it back. Okay. And then, and then there latch. is a latch on the inside of the door. Yep. Anywhere you see a latch, latch it. Fun fact, this is a fire escape right here. The bed. This? Yep. If you pull this latch out, you can actually lift this up Ow. and escape. If you have a stock trail manor, it probably did not come with this toilet. We changed this toilet. We have a video on this toilet. The uh, original toilet is called a recirculating toilet, which I find quite gross. This cabinet is the last one you gotta set up. These little hooks go up there. I have had them flip upside down Oof. and I'm trying to hang this thing and it mm. just won't stick and that's why. So That's frustrating. Alright, the last thing we gotta do is put the curtains up. Oh, yeah. and I'll show you the awning, but we'll do the curtains first. We literally went to probably Lowe's um, and we bought some drop cloths. Drop cloths. Velcro. In Velcro, and we literally measured, we cut, and then here's the cool thing. It just yeah. sticks right up there. When you go to a campsite, you're paying for the spot itself, the electricity is included, the water is included, and the septic's included. That's included. What's not included is propane. If you have a gas powered heater in your camper, you're paying for that out of pocket. Go get a space heater and plug it into the electric that you're already paying for for the campsite. This little heater heats this camper up to where we're sweating inside here in the winter when it's cold outside. Just a little light pack for you guys. The only other thing we're going to show you is the awning outside. Mm -hmm. um, if you got your camper and you found a stick like this and you didn't know what it was for. It's for the awning. Just the awning. On this tool you have a hook. Up here in the front corner of your camper, you have a little slot for the hook to go in. And then you twist this. This 
right here. Latch is in here in the center. So to get it out, you've got to pull it right here, like that. And that'll bring the other side out. You make sure this nut is loose. This top part here, put up top. That drop in there and bring that lock it in. Then you can bring these out, and that's what raises the awning up. Alright, we'll get the other side done and then we will uh, wrap this up. Wrap it up. This is it, we just gotta raise it up. Hopefully this was a, a informative video. Yeah. Found this informative? Let us know down below. Give us two thumbs up. Well, just one. One, one because if you two hit it would twice. Cancel. Yeah, just one thumbs up will be sufficient. But tell tell, all tell your, your friends to, to give subscribe. us thumbs up. Yep, do us a favor, subscribe to our channel because we're Please. really, really going after we're those. We're trying songs. so hard. Sorry for the cicadas. They're so loud. They're not that. Oh, they're horrible. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you enjoy your trail manor camper. We're getting there. Go to the hammer.